if the dust in your house is mostly human skin, then how long until you've inhaled a person? <laughs> First of all, dust is made of whatever. <laughs> like, it's made of everything that is in the house. If you wear shoes with dirt on them in the house, there's a lot more dirt in the dust. If you, you know, if you have wind-blown sand in your area, a lot of sand, you know. Um, they found that most of the dust was not organic material at all in, in a couple of the more recent good studies I found. Um, so it's not necessarily true that most household dust is human skin. Um, so I'm not sure that that's true, but in case you're disappointed, <laughs> almost all of the dust in your pillow and mattress and blankets are dead skin, is dead skin. So the world is still horrifying and disgusting. Um, but the good news is, uh, even if you spend your time in an environment that is mostly human skin dust, and it's at really high levels to the point where it like, violates OSHA standards for inhaling dust in general, they don't have a specific different standard for skin, as far as I can tell. Um, <laughs> but uh, uh, even if you're inhaling, inhaling the worst case scenario amounts of dust, uh, it will still, uh, I think in a lifetime, you'd maybe inhale like three pounds of it which is, you know, not nearly a person. It's a reasonable percentage of a person. <laughs> it's definitely... I almost feel like it being in between is worse. It's like I'd rather it be like, oh, it's much more than a person, but it's not really, you know, it, it's all how you think about it. Or like it's an infinitesimal amount. But it being like an amount I could hold in my hand is somehow gross. <laughs> <laughs>